Hello! This is the second time I filmed this video because the first time my camera or my phone refused to focus and I wanted to smash it. But I can't smash my phone because then I would cry. So we're going to be unboxing a diamond painting from diamondpaintingfactory.uk co.uk Diamond Painting Factory UK I've covered up my last name because no one needs to know my last name except for stalkers and no one really wants to stalk me, but just in case. So here is how it comes. I also have taken the liberty, since this is the second time of me filming it, to gather my thoughts and give some constructive criticism instead of just being, I don't know, salty. Here are the drills. They come in these bags, and I find that they are a waste of plastic, these bags, because it's like, why can't all of the same color come in one big bag? I don't know. Is it just me, or does anyone else feel bad about the amount of plastic that diamond paintings come in? I'm not going to go on a save the planet type thing right now, but I just think that we could save some of the plastic and put all the same color in one bag. And usually drills that come like this I find aren't the greatest quality, but I won't know until I actually start working on the diamond painting. So I will reserve those thoughts for later. It did come with a kit, but I threw the kit in my kit pile, so it's not there. Who is Margaret Baird? My name is Beverly, not Beverly Baird. I know a Marley Baird, but not a Beverly Baird. Is Margaret supposed to be me? Just call me Margie. Mm -hmm. So on the top left, we have Diamond Painting Factory. I guess this is supposed to be my name, but it's not my name. And then it's 40 by 50 centimeters, and it's a round diamond painting. Here we have the schematic. It is 26 colors. And at the bottom left, we have the schematic again, some instructions for diamond painting and the URL for a diamond painting factory UK. At first glance, from far away, it looks great. But when you get up close, it kind of looks really pixelated. Like these are not hand charted because I feel like there wouldn't be random orange specks if the, these were hand charted or like if someone looked at this after they were charted and went in and edited them, whatever you want to call that part. But it does look very pixelated to me. There's, there's like parts of it. I know this is from a painting, like this is by Willow, Willowing Arts. And I know that this is a painting. I know it doesn't translate exactly to like a grid but there are parts of it that should be edited out. Like there's green specks in the sky, but what are the green specks supposed to be? Let's take a look at the thumbnail. So here's the thumbnail. I think the green specks are supposed to be birds, but if they don't, if they just turn out like a dot, it's fine, just edit out the green. And I just, I don't know, I feel like it is very pixelated because there's like these extra colors in places and it could have been cleaned up a little bit more than it it is. But again, I won't know until I actually work on it, so I shouldn't be one of those people, but I'm not very happy with it. I mean, this canvas was $27 and I waited a month and a half for it to come. It is licensed art, which I appreciate. I just think that for the size, it should have, it's detailed enough, but it should have been edited, like just extra colors in places. And I don't know, is it just me? What do you guys think of this diamond painting? Let's take a closer look at the canvas. So, like, these are supposed to be birds, but they look like specks. There's a random dot right here. The buildings, the buildings look okay. But again, it's like, why couldn't 
why is there orange specks here? Why couldn't those be removed? Am I just spoiled by other diamond painting companies that hand chart their things? I think I might be. It just looks unfinished to me. And then down here we have boats. And then these are supposed to be rocks here. Along that bridge or tunnel, whatever. And then more rocks here. I don't know. From far away, yes, diamond paintings are meant to be looked at from far away, so I can't really complain, but I'm still kind of like iffy about the canvas. I'm not going to open up all of the drills just because I don't want to, and I will have a hard time putting them back into this, this sleeve, and I don't know when I will be working on it, but you can see the colors a little bit here. More colors. So yeah, I'm not going to like make this video any longer. Let me know your thoughts on this diamond painting. What you're, th what you're thinking. Um, do you like it? Do you think it will turn out great? Again, we won't know until I actually work on it and finish it. And I've seen other willowing arts slash diamond painting factory UK canvases done and they turned out great. Some of them are really pixelated and I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't want, I feel like I don't, I don't want to add to the bias that their canvases are pixelated or anything like that. But I also feel like this is pixelated. Does this make sense? I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> It's hard being nice. <laughs> Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you think about this canvas. Hit the thumbs up button if this video is helpful to you and please make sure you subscribe. Join my little hive by clicking the red subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!